All right. Well, hey, guys. Good to be back with you again. We have the uh, first place uh, Browns. I'm sorry. They're not in first place anymore. They're um, competing, though, for first place against the uh, Washington Senators. Senators, of course, um, as you can imagine, somewhat hapless. They've lost three in a row. They're at 10 and 15. The Browns, I'm sorry, they're in third place, two games out behind the Athletics. They were in first place just, I feel like it was a couple days ago. And actually, even given the pace at which I record these, it was like a couple of weeks ago. So that's uh, that's me turning into an old man. Um, Browns at 14-11, uh, of course. Senators at uh, 10 and 15. And uh, we'll see how this one goes. It's going to be Rube Waddell on the mound for St. Louis against uh, Long Tom Hughes for the uh, Senators. Hughes is 3-4. Uh, and four. First uh, batter he faces is Hope Ferris, who rolls a 26 for a 27. That'll be a ground ball to third base. And Shipka's got that and throws to first. And there is one away just like that. Jimmy Williams comes up now. He rolls a 33 for a 7. And that's going to be a single to right field. And that'll bring up George Stone. So as usual, we'll take a look here at Williams. Doesn't quite have that um, uh, magic 11. So we're going to have Stone go ahead and bunt. Um, Kind of a controversial decision, but let's see how this one goes. Rule is a 64 for a 13. That'll be a foul strike. That's the one nice thing about the bunt. You can keep that strike out of way. Next rule is a 63 for a 31. That's what we like to see. That's a ground ball over to the first baseman. It's Freeman who flips over to Delahanty, covering at first for the out. And there's two away just like that. Roy Hartzell comes up with Jimmy Williams on his second. Of course, if we'd known there was a 31, we would have hit and run, but that, it doesn't work that way. You can't cheat. Roy Hartzell now comes up and rolls a 61 for a 30. It's a fly ball to left field. Gainley is there for the out, and we go to the bottom of the first. Here is Jim Delahanty for the Senators. Jim rolls a 14 for a 43. There is a little E roll. And that rolls a 55 out of the range. It's a fly ball to left field. Stone has that for the out. One gone. Rube Waddell coming up, or is on the mound, I should say. He's 4-3, and 1.61 the ERA, and a 2.17 batted against average. He's still got it. Rube's next pitch, the roll from Shipka is a 53 for a 19. Changed to an 18. That's going to be an error on the shortstop, uh, Wallace. And so Shipka finds a way to get on base. That'll bring up Otis Clymer with one out here in the uh, bottom of the first. And we'll do the same look, and this time we'll hit and run. And the roll is a 24 for a 13. It's a strike him out, throw him out. That's the danger of the hit and run. You bunt is just a strike. You um, uh, hit and run, and it's a uh, double play. We go to the top of the second. Here's Danny Hoffman. Danny rolls a 23 for a 32. It's a fly ball to right field, and Climbers got that for the out. One away. Tom Jones will be up next. Jones hitting 193. Rolls a 54 for a 45. Here's a little E roll. Roll is a 34, out of the range. Fly ball right field, and Climbers got that for the out. Two gone, and here's Bobby Wallace. Wallace rolls a 31 for a 9. That's a single over shortstop, and that's a base hit. Second hit of the game for the Browns, and that'll bring up uh, Tubby Spencer. Spencer rolls an 11 for a 7. That'll be a single to right center, and uh, Wallace will go to third base with two outs, and that'll bring up none other than Rube Waddell himself. He does have an RBI this season, hitting 100. And look at that. You saw that, right? See, it's a 66. You can see that right there for a 0. Let's see what his next roll is going to be. It's a 34. That'll be a 6, and that's a double clearing the bases. 2 nothing. the Browns with the lead as Rube Waddell manages to get a hold of one. And uh, here's Hope Ferris with Waddell in scoring position. Two outs here in the top of the second. And his roll is a 26 for a 27. Ground ball, third base, and uh, it's going to be Shipka with that throwing to first for the out. We go to the bottom of the second inning. But it's a 2 nothing lead for the Browns, and here is George McBride. George rolls a 55 for a 9. That's a single off of Waddell. First hit for the Senators. And that brings up Jerry Freeman. Freeman's hitting 202 this season, which is pretty good for 1908. And look at that. He rolls an 11 for a 0. Next roll is a 64 for a 6. That'll be a double sending McBride to third. Uh, so with nobody out, the uh, Senators are definitely um, trying to make some noise. And here comes Bob Gainley. We're going to keep the infield back, I think, here, since it's only the bottom of the second. Bob rolls a 43 for a 29. It's a comebacker to Waddell, who looks McBride back to uh, second or to third and throws to first for the out, one away. It'll be Clyde Milan now. Keep that infield back, and the roll is a 52 for a 27. This time it's over to the left side. It's Hope Ferris who has that and throws to first. Just like that, there's two away. Let's look at Gabby Street now. And he rolls a 52 for a 27. It's another one over to Ferris who throws to first, and we'll go to the top of the third inning. So that didn't quite work the way Washington wanted it to. It'll be Jimmy Williams here leading off the top of the third. 
and Jimmy rolls a 15 for a 10, there's a single to center straight away right off of Long Tom Hughes. And so here comes George Stone with a runner on at first. Stone, he rolls a 13 for a 14. That'll be a walk-off of Long Tom, and that'll bring up Roy Hartzell. Hartzell here, 9 RBIs, a 264 average. Uh, fairly good, uh, for, again, for 1908 in terms of um, where he's heading fourth in the lineup. And let's see if he can do much. Rolls a 64 for a 29, and that's going to be a comebacker to Hughes. He turns around with it, goes to McBride for one, and he goes back onto first for the double play. Um, Williams goes to third. There's two away. Here's Danny Hoffman. He's hitting 213, eight RBIs. He rolls a 34 for a 44. There is a little E roll. And it's a 31 out of the play or out of the range. So it's a fly ball to center field. Milan has that for the out. We'll go to the bottom of the third. Still a 2 nothing lead for the Browns. Here comes Long Tom Hughes, and uh, we won't talk about that batting average. He rolls a 35 for a 13. When you have a 13 on 35, that tells you there may be a problem. So there's one away. That is strike on number two for Rube. Brings up Jim Delahanty. He rolls a 41 for a 28. Ground ball over to Wallace at short. He throws the first. Two gone. Bill Shipka, the next batter. He rolls a 52 for a 27. That's another strikeout for uh, uh, Waddell. And we go to the top of the fourth. Tom Jones comes up. Tom rolls a 13 for a 14. That'll be a walk, and uh, up next will be Bobby Wallace. So Jones finds a way to get on base, and here comes Wallace, and he will bunt. And it's a 24 for a 13. As I told you, that 13 doesn't hurt you so much when it's a bunt, so there's one strike on Wallace. Next rolls a 63 for a 31. We've seen this before. Bunt to the right side. Freeman flips back to Delahanty. Jones moves up to second. One away. And here's Tubby Spencer. Spencer has two RBIs this season. His average and everything offensively just looks awful. And he rolls a 53 for an 18. That's changed, though, to a 22. That's going to be a bad pickoff move to second by uh, Hughes, which allows Jones to reach third. And so Spencer with another chance here. Again, this infield's going to be back. He rolls a 62 for a 12. There is a little E roll. So 46 is the roll. That's going to be a fly ball over to right field. Climber has it. The runner tags, tries to score, and he is thrown out. So Climber with a good throw over to uh, Street, the catcher. And we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. The uh, Senators hold the Browns from adding to that lead, and it's still a 2 0 game. Here is Otis Clymer, who made that big play, and he rolls a 34 for a 44. Fly ball center field. Hoffman's got that one gone. George McBride now rolls a 12 for a 25, and that's a strikeout for Waddell, his fourth. Two gone. Here's Jerry Freeman, who rolls a 41 for a 28. Ground ball shortstop, and uh, Wallace has that throws to first, and we go to the top of the fifth. It will be Rude Waddell here in the top of the fifth inning. He rolls a 26 for 13, so he strikes him out on offense and he strikes himself out or on defense and on offense. One away, and here's uh, Hope Ferris. Rolls a 53 for a 20, and that's going to be um, a ground ball over to uh, Delahanty, who boots it for an air, and Ferris finds a way to get on to first. That'll bring up uh, now uh, Jimmy Williams. Ferris doesn't have any sort of um, fancy 11 or anything, so we'll have Williams bunt. And he rolls a 52 for a 27, which means he fouls away two potential bunts. His next roll is a 45 for a 14, so he had two strikes on him along Tom Hughes lost him anyway. That brings up George Stone now, runners on first and second with only one out top of the fifth. His roll is a 13 for a 14, so Hughes has now loaded the bases. He's given up four walks so far in this game. And uh, here is Roy Hartzell, so we'll see what happens with Roy. Infield again will stay back. I think it's the right call. Go for the double play. You see that? The rule is a 13 for a 40. Change to 37. Let's see what happens here. It's a fly ball over to center field. Milan has it for the out, but that's deep enough that all three runners move up. It's now a 3 nothing game for the Browns. Here's Danny Hoffman. Two outs, uh, top of the fifth. And Danny rolls a 34 for a 44. It's a fly ball center field, and Milan has that for the out. We'll go to the bottom of the fifth inning, and it'll be Bob Gainley here for Washington. Bob rolls a 62 for a 12. It's a ground ball first base. Tom Jones has that throw. Goes to the back himself. One away. Clyde Milan now. He rolls a 45 for a 14. That'll be a walk, and then he'll steal second uh, with uh, Gabby Street up there. So there's one away. Milan on at second, and here comes Street. He rolls a 61 for a 13, and there's a strikeout. That's number five for Waddell, and that'll bring up Long Tom Hughes. Hughes struck out last time up, and this time he rolls a 43 for a 29. That's a, cr a crown ground ball over to Jones on the right side, and he flips over to Waddell for the play at first. And we go to the top of the six. Still a 3-0 lead for the Browns. Here's Tom Jones. 
Jones rolls a 45 for a 14 and will walk, and that'll bring up Bobby Wallace. So bottom of the order, bunt in order again. And it rolls a 45 for a 14. The interesting thing about this is that that does end up being a walk, even though it's a bunt. This will bring up Tubby Spencer. Spencer's one for two today. Had a single hint to double play. That was that crazy roll um, that uh, turned into that double play fly ball. He tries to bunt, rolls a 53 for an 18, and that's a bunt that the uh, catcher um, uh, street ends up fumbling, and that means everybody's safe. That does count as a sacrifice. And here now, again, is Rube Waddell. Waddell had a double um, to score two and then struck out his last time up. Let's see what interesting thing happens now. He rolls a 32 for a 26. The uh, infield's playing deep, and so it's a ground ball over to second base. Delahanty has it, flips on over to McBride. A run scores, and uh, Waddell is safe at first. It's now a 4 nothing game, and that'll bring up Hope Ferris. So it's a fielder's choice. Not exactly the best at bet by Rube, but it was effective. Here now is Hope Ferris. Ferris rolls a 63 for a 31. It's a fly ball to center field. Milan has that. There's two away. Jimmy Williams comes up. He's two for two today. Two singles and a walk. He will roll a 41 for a 28 ground ball. Shortstop McBride flips over to Delahanty covering at second, and we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. And it will be Jim Delahanty leading this off for the uh, Senators. Delahanty 0 for 2, rolls a 43 for a 29. That's another strikeout for Waddell. He's rung up six. One gone. Here's Shipka. Bill rolls a 61 for a 13. That's number seven, victim number seven for Waddell. Two away. It's Otis Clymer, and Otis rolls an 11 for a zero. And then a 22 for a two. So that's a big triple to deep left center field. Clymer makes it all the way over to third base. That'll bring up George McBride. 4 nothing game in favor of the Browns. Here's McBride, and he rolls a 56 for a 34. It's a pop-up over to the right side. Jones, um, the first baseman to foul territory, grabs that for the out. And we will go now to the top of the seventh inning. Still a 4 nothing game for the Browns. Here is George Stone. Leading this off, rolls a 32 for a 26. Is a ground ball to the right side. Second baseman, Delahanty, has it and throws to first. One away. Roy Hartzell comes up now. He rolls a 14 for a 43. There is a little E roll. And it's a 34. It's a fly ball to the left side. Gainley has that for the out. There's two away. Here's Danny Hoffman. He rolls a 24 for a 13. That's going to be a strikeout. And so we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. It'll be Jerry Freeman leading this off for the Senators. 4 0 Browns in control of this one. Freeman rolls a 61 for a 41. Changed to 36. It's going to be a ball. Next roll is an 11 for a 0 for Freeman, and uh, the follow-up roll is a 45 for a 6. That'll be a double to right center field. Way to lead it off, and here comes Bob Gainley. The uh, Browns uh, head 4 nothing, but the Senators threatening. Nobody out bottom the 7th runner on it first. And Bob rolls a 51 for a 9. That's a single, and um, that will not score the runner, um, as uh, the runner was slow. So it's a single to center. Hoffman grabs that, throws onto the plate. Good throw to Spencer to get the uh, runner, and Gainley moves the second on that throw, so there's one away. Five hits for the Senators, still nary a run, and here is Clyde Milan. Milan rolls a 63 for a 31 fly ball center field. Hoffman's got that as well, two away, and here's Gabby Street. He rolls a 64 for a 22, changed to an 18. That's going to be a ground ball to short, and uh, Wallace has it, throws to first for the out. And we go to the top of the eighth inning. Kind of a rare play, by the way, because the runner, if there's less than two away, the runner could score if he's fast enough. Have you ever seen that happen where a runner scored in a ground ball to short from second? I'm not so sure. Here's Tom Jones, top of the eighth. Jones rolls a 36 for a 33, and he strikes out. There's one away. Bobby Wallace now. Four strikeouts for Hughes against six walks. Wallace rolls a 32 for a 26. Ground ball over to second. Delahanty has that, throws a first. Two gone. Tubby Spencer... He rolls a 66 for a 0, and his next roll is a 13 for a 6. That'll be a big double, and that'll bring up who else? Rube Waddell. Runner out of second base, 4 to nothing to score. Rube rolls a 52 for a 27. That's going to be a strikeout, and that's the fifth strikeout for Hughes, and we go to the bottom in the eighth inning. Here is Hughes, the uh, pitcher, uh, leading this one off. He has struck out and grounded out. Rolls a uh, 65 for a 35. It's a foul ball over to the uh, left side. Ferris has that for the out. One away. Delahanty's up next. He rolls a 36 for a 33. It's a pop-up uh, to the right side, um, and it will be Williams who grabs that for the out. Two gone. Bill Shipka now. Rolls a 31 for a 14, and he'll walk. Only the second walk that Rube has given up, and that'll bring up Otis Clymer. 
He rolls a 46 for a 29. That'll be a ground ball back to Waddell, and he'll throw to first for the out. We go to the top of the ninth inning. It will be Hobe Ferris here for the Browns. Up 4 uh, four nothing. Rolls a 34 for a 44, and here's a little lead. It's a 44 out of the range, so it's a fly ball to center field, and uh, Milan has that for the out easily, one away. Jimmy Williams comes up, and he rolls a 15 for a 10. That's a single to center, and that'll bring up George Stone, runner on at first base. Stone rolls a 36 for a 33. It's uh, There is a little E roll. It's a 45 out of the range. It's a pop-up to the left side. Shipka's got that for the out. There's two gone, and here's Hartzell, who rolls a 42 for a 13 and strikes out. That's number six that uh, Hughes has racked up, and so we'll go to the bottom of the ninth. Six strikeouts for Hughes. Waddell with seven so far. Here's Roy M George McBride, and the Senators are running out of answers. McBride rolls a 66 for a zero. Followed up by a 22 for a 2. That'll be a triple to left center field. So maybe there's something happening. Maybe there's a chance to only hit number 6 for the Senators. And here comes Jerry Freeman. Of course, the Browns play the infield back. Freeman rolls a 32 for a 26. And that's going to be a ground ball over to second. Williams has it, throws to first, and the run scores. One away, and here's Bob Gainley. Nobody on base. It's a 4-1 to one game. Bob rolls a 64 for a 30. Fly ball left field. Stone's got that, and there's two away. Here now is Clyde Milan, the last gasp for the Senators. Nobody on. Milan rolls a 21 for a 30. It's another fly ball left field, and Stone has that for the out, and there you have it. So the Browns win this one 4-1. to one. Pretty quiet game. Uh, Browns will go to 15 and 11. Senators then to 10 and 16, and they're battling with the Highlanders for last place. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'll talk with you again tomorrow. We'll have more fun then. Bye-bye.